I'm Jodie Mae from Handmade Cottage. Please excuse my scruff. I'm in the midst of a crafty project. I know it's been a really long time since my last video. Um, I've been I'm a musician and I've actually been making an album this year, which I might share with you at some point. Um, hence my lack of crafty videos. But I'm doing a project today. I'm decoupaging a tabletop, which I'm then going to sand down to get that really nice distressed pattern coming through vibe. First time I've done it, but I think it's going okay, so I might share it with you and um, we'll see. So for this project, you will need some napkins. Napkins are perfect for decoupaging. Um, this is, you can see I've already started this project. This is the tabletop, and this is actually going on my fire pit in the garden. So when I'm not using it as a fire pit, I can use it as a table. Some Mod Podge. I like to use matte always, I'm not keen on the shiny finish. And because this is going in the garden, I'm going to then give it a coat of outdoor varnish, which is also in matte. So here's what you do. The napkins, they're always three, uh, two or three ply, which means, you know when you look at the back of them, you're going to have, there's three very fine pieces of tissue. You need to peel off to get the very top one. I simply started by putting a layer of glue, laying down your napkin very gently, and then I put a layer of Mod Podge over the top. Okay, so just to demonstrate, I've just put a layer of glue down, and then I'm going to take this piece of tissue, just so you know I'm doing this one-handed because I don't have my camera stand set up, and Ralphie doesn't have a poseable thumb, so he's absolutely useless to me. Okay, so I'm just going to line that up. doesn't have to be too smooth. So just give it a little pat down with your hand or use a cling film. So here's a piece of cling film I'm just putting over the top and then I'm just going to use that to smooth down because then you don't get your hand all gluey. It doesn't tear the paper. See? And you can see all the tissues all wrinkly, but that's all right. And even if you do tear bits, this is, we're going for a rustic finish, rustic. I only do rustic because it means I can make lots of mistakes and it doesn't matter because it's rustic. See? Lovely. And then just take off your cling film. Um, you can just pull this down and it should just tear off nicely. See? Just tear, because remember we're going to sand and um, we're going to give the edges a good sand as well. Okay, I'm back. I've done my gluing, I've done all my decoupaging. Now it's just a waiting game and I just need to wait for my glue to dry. Um, it's looking pretty though, so see what you think. You can see where I've joined it. Um, I've no idea how this is going to turn out. So we're going to sand it now. Okay, so I've just sanded, started sanding this half. And where the napkin um, was slightly wrinkled before, it's leaving these kind of etched, faded, cracked lines, which looks great, actually. Mm -hmm. 